Hey, well, welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear Channel. Today, we are in the Eastern Cape. We are at Addo Elephant Park. Check this out. You come here to Addo and you're literally surrounded by elephant. We're hanging out with Nick. He's the manager of Addo Elephant Park. He's also going to tell us the story behind his gym green boots that are 14 years old. And I want to encourage you to stick around, like and subscribe, comment, watch until the end because it helps us with our algorithms. It's going to be very awesome. Let's get into it. Current uh, pair of gym green boots I've been walking with for the last 14 years. I still bought them from the factory in Midland Meander, KZN. I worked in KZN Wildlife, Natal Park Sport for about 16 years. That's where I got acquainted with uh, with Jim Green. So those boots have been through seven years of Richtersveld, some years in Tembi Elephant Park, and then obviously moving down to Edo where I've been for the last six years. That was probably the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. Uh, people ask why don't you buy a new pair, I'd rather just have them resold. That's been done three times already. They're so comfortable that I would rather prefer reselling them than buying a new pair. A very trusted partner in my conservation career. I'm looking forward for many more years with Jim Green. And uh, obviously, thanks to Jim Green also for the support and giving the Rangers throughout Africa. So much appreciated and uh, please keep doing the good work. What are the quick steps to take if an elephant charges? Just stand your ground. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to approach the elephants. Next set is just going to check their temperament, see how close we can get. So uh, we are literally just walking, trying to spot the elephant. I must be honest, I'm a little bit, a little bit scared. They are literally just behind us over there. So there's like one or two of the trigger balls you've got to watch. And not this, not this calm as the other ones. How do you, how do you guys uh, know the difference between the Kruger ball and the Addo ball? When you see a Kruger ball amongst the herd you will stand anything from 750 centimeters to a meter higher it's quite amazing being so close to the guys kind of just hearing them in the bush doing their thing eating nick what do, what do they um what do they like to eat here spectrum forms a big part of their diet so how do we we privilege with having all these spectrum around all these tickets of spectrum Water is the critical factor in the park and with the drought that we've been going through for the last couple of years. South African Weather Bureau, they say it's the driest been in Addo in 102 years. So this green you see here looks very nice, but it's just like a superficial type of green. So we've just arrived at uh, an elephant exclosure. This is here to actually keep the elephant out. So Nick, tell us a little bit more about why this is the way that it is. So we pump water, as I mentioned just now, from a bottle. So we've got a bottle here that pumps with solar. So obviously, so it only operates during the day. So what we've done is, in certain areas we try and keep elephant away. So the elephants, when usually when they will just hug the water hole, no animal will be able to get closer into here. And it'll finish the water because the solar can only pump that much and then it's uh, tonight there's no sun and there's no water available for all, all the other species. So in Addo we got about four or five of these explosions to try and keep the, the elephant out. As you can see it's just the wires hanging down. It's all electrified. It's about running about anything between eight and ten thousand volts coming through the fence to keep them out. Okay, so hold on. So if I touch that. So it will give you a good shock. Okay. Um, is that a challenge? But it can't kill you. Yeah, you're more than welcome to try and touch it. I can hear it somewhere. <laughs> oh, um, I have a feeling. I've got a feeling that I might have to do this. 
You haven't got a pacemaker, right? Yeah. <laughs> the shoots it up, eh? No, it throws the pace, the, the timing out. I don't have a pacemaker. <laughs> but maybe I will have one after this. <laughs> I'm worried about this. 1,500 comments for a touch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just not gonna look. In a young mass. It's on. <laughs> it's on, it works. Boom. What's going up there now? What's she? Is that how close he is? Getting closer. Not quite sure what he's doing, but we're just standing our ground. <laughs> oh, he's like, what did he say? So that's kind of what you do. Just wait stand and believe that everything's going to be okay <laughs> but i am with professionals so that's the only reason why we could be here and do this this way Just want to jump in here and remind you guys that for every 10 pairs of gym green boots sold we give one pair away to a game ranger in need this is really important because over 40 percent of game rangers do not have access to good boots and it is our responsibility or we've taken it upon ourselves to make sure that all of these rangers get boots on their feet in order to do the jobs that they are required to do it is official we have over 500 pairs of gym green boots going out and by september they will be on the feet of rangers this is an incredible celebrate and we've got a whole lot of gym green boots heading out to zimbabwe pretty soon so that's a massive celebrate as well so just want to give you guys a shout out thank you for supporting the gym green brand thank you for supporting the channel please like and subscribe right now whatever you're doing please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button and um, help us grow this gym green channel um, we want to build relationally with you over the screen so let's continue to do just that you you want to get yourself a pair of gym green boots because as uh, nick has explained yeah it's it's lasted him a very very long time and so we love it you should too Definitely. Don't do anything else. Come on. Have a good one and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>